Welcome to the first episode of Hud Man Bass. So I bought maybe 12 baits or so, and every bait goes together. So uh, I think I'm going to start with my swim stuff, like my swim jigs and my bladed swim jigs. So right now I've got the Buckeye Sue Spin Blade. Um, it's just a single spinner bladed hook. It's kind of weighted. And to go with that, I got the Key Tech Custom Works um, Silver Flash Minnow swim baits. Uh, they're, they're pretty slim, small swim baits that are perfect for these kinds of uh, bladed hooks. So I'm going to probably put that, I'll show you which rod and reel I'm going to put that on in a minute, but I'll uh, probably throw that on 12 pound mono is what I'm going to put that on. So there's the first bait out of the way. The second bait that I got is the M Pack Swim Jig. Um, I got this in a bluegill color right here. And if you're wondering what this thing is, usually it has a little slider that will attach to the hook to make it weedless. That's a really helpful feature, except I lost it already. Sweet. And on it, I have another Key Tech uh, swim bait. I got another four inch. This one's Electric Shad. So it's kind of got that purple in there. So I like those a lot. And uh, another bait that I'm definitely going to use as a go-to in spring and summer is this KVD Sexy Frog that I actually got at Walmart a while ago, so I've owned this bait for a while. Um, it's got that nice leopard bottom of the frog, and I've actually cut the skirt so it's not as big of a presentation. The next bait that I got was the Z-Man 10X Tough Elastec Finesse TRD. I just call them turds. Um, super mature. And then also I got some Cabela's Ned Rig Jig Heads uh, Green Pumpkin. I think it's a... Th 3 odd or 2 odd hook. Um, so I'm going to put these on and throw it on my spinning rod uh, for pressured bass and also just smaller ponds and creeks. So that's definitely going to be a go to. Another thing that I got are my staples. I got my 4 odd Gamagatsu offset worm hooks. Um, these I use with all kinds of my baits. I'll get into the soft plastics that I bought and will use with these in a minute. But also, I got three, two packs of 3 eighths of an ounce uh, tungsten bullet weights, green pumpkin. Just so it's a little more natural pre presentation. Um, I switched to green pumpkin weights uh, not too long ago, and I've actually caught more fish on them. So rather than just the regular gray weights, so can't wait to use these. The first soft plastic I'll be showing you guys today is the Biospawn Vile Crab. Now these are very interesting uh, crab baits that I've seen. These have paddle tail, really I guess crawfish hands, for lack of a better word. And as you can see in the middle. You can, you can actually remove these craw handles and then it becomes, and then it has way more action in a Texas rig or a Carolina rig, per se. Because now it can go everywhere rather than just staying together. I would use this either with a swim bait hook, Texas rig, Carolina rig, just anything. So this is pretty versatile and cool, so I'm glad I got some of these. The next bait that I got, well really two baits, is the Cabela's brand crawfish watermelon with red flake. I got them in three and a half inches and four inches. I don't really know what makes the difference, but I use these as jig trailers a lot. Um, see, it's a really nice presentation. I really like how it's a two body and then really big drastic claws. Um, Cause those things on the back of a jig or even just Texas rig or punch rig are just, they just go wild and those are really awesome. And then I also got them in four inches. Those were the three and a half. Um, they're a tad bigger in the body but uh, like I said, just the claws and the action all around are just awesome. The next bait that I got is another crawfish imitation, Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver. Um, these are, I believe, 4.2 inches and uh, really awesome beaver baits. I've caught lots of fish on these things. I got this in Craw Magic, which is a natural green pumpkin look with still just a tad of blue, which for some reason has worked really well for me over uh, my, my fishing career. Um, I really like it because these beaver tails, they can be either together or split. And for some reason, these things are super important. I fished beaver tails without these, and they just don't have as much action. So the reaction innovations are a staple. And the next bait, the juice, Gary Yamamoto 5 inch Senko. I've caught more fish on this bait than any other bait in my tackle box. This thing is another necessary staple that I can't go without. I love these things so much. Um, Another, I tried this in a different color this time, something that's a little more interesting. This is a watermelon with purple flake. Um, I'm using Texas rig, wacky rig, they're on a shaky head. So, another necessary bait. Next bait that I got are the Zoom Flukes in Arkansas Shiner color. 
these things, I like to use flukes because they're uh, different from swim baits because you can really just, they're more of slow working bottom baits. So if fish are nibbling at the swim bait but you can't catch one, I will usually throw a fluke, Texas rig, or weightless. And I've had a lot of success from these baits, so these are pretty awesome. The next thing I'm going to be showing off is my swim bait tray. These are a couple of sorted swim baits and glide baits that I'm definitely going to be using this summer in big lakes. So the first one that I got is the Savage Gear Real Trout 3D 6 inches. I think this is actually the 5 inch edition as a matter of fact. And I got it in the hitch color so it's good shad imitation. And uh, I also got another one of those in Juvenile Trout. So it's interesting because I'm throwing a trout pattern rather than a shad or a bluegill pattern. So I'm really excited to use that. The next bait is the Savage Gear Rad Rat 6.5 inches. This thing is a funky little bait. This thing goes top water. It even has little whiskers. This is easily one of the oddest baits I've ever used, but I can't wait to throw it. The next thing, I don't know why in the world I bought this thing back in the day, but this is a old glide bait. I guess Cabela's brand, and it is just never going to use that thing, ever. <laughs> but the next bait, that is the Juice, the Huddleston 68 Special. These things are weedless and are just insane baits. Like, look at this. The boot tail just makes sure that the tail goes everywhere. Man, the bass just slam these things. And it's weedless because the hook is actually embedded in the plastic, so when a bass bites it, the hook comes out of there. I got it in Perch and Phantom Shasta. The first combo that I'm going to be showcasing today is the Lose Mach 2 Speed Spool Spinning Combo. This is a 6.6 medium action rod that is actually a two-piece, so I use this when I'm going to all kinds of creeks. Right now, I currently have a little Ned Rig hook tied on on 12-pound monofilament line. The next combo that I'll be showcasing is the Lose Mach 2 Casting Combo. This features a 7 to 5 to 1 gear ratio. I have it for right-handed. Right now, I have a 17-pound monofilament line tied on, and the bait that I have on choice right now is a Texas Rig Gamagatsu 4 uh creature bait hook and a bullet weight. This is 7 foot rod, medium heavy power. And last but definitely not least, I have my Shimano Karate K, which features an 8.5 to 3 gear ratio. Currently I have 40 pound braid tied on and a Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher yellow and black frog. This is on a 7 foot medium heavy favorite rod defender. 